Hello there, fellow Chainlings of the Chaining Army. Welcome back to the Enchanted Cave 2. Last episode, we continued onwards, as we could, up to floor 25. Now, let's see exactly how... Mm, forgot to keep sealed. But we're gonna see exactly how much I've managed to well, get strength. Now, as you can see, I'm zipping through enemies here. Now, of course, if you don't want to do this, you can immediately like, skip to the next floor. But I'm doing this more along lines of because I want to. But it's also free experience.
Another thing I should have made mention of, unless you have transmute, you won't be able to have like every single thing in this. But if you actually want to like have some real good weapons and stuff like that, every time you go in here, then I highly suggest you get transmute as soon as possible. If you can. Of course, I never did that myself. I always like, uh, like set everything to attack. Oh, and in case you're wondering, like, where the uh, gold is every time you get it, it's pretty much right up here. Oh, but I did not mean to do that. Eh, it doesn't matter anyway. Can one stop most of these enemies anyway. Also, I should give you a little bit of an update uh, regarding that Borderlands playthrough. As uh, far as I know, it will not actually work all that great, at least on this PC here. So I'm booting up the other PC and making sure that that one will run the game, as far as I know. And far as I know, it will. So it should be fine, at least for now. Okay, so all the stuff I don't need. I'm already 9 minutes and already at floor 11. As you can see I'm... Much stronger now.
A dog. Pretty well just barked at anything. Ooh. That's useful. I'm gonna get rid of that soon enough. Now, that's all done. Now, you may notice this. This is only given to you after your Mac got every single point of stats here. Sensory, ha do you have a uh, extra stat you're not using? Some extra skill point. Put in each one, you get either attack to or defense to. In this case. Now... I'm going to be working on trying to get transmute that there and get the thing I can there. Fine steel helmet. Katana. No small price to pay for in turn for defense. Now, uh, one thing I will make mention of, uh, if you were to play this on, uh, Kogelgate, you would only have part of the game. The reason being is because 
Kogugi does not have the full game of this. And as far as I know, most of the games from Kogugate 1 are flash. And unfortunately, because well, I was while I decided to do this after the fact, a lot of the flash games I used to play I can't do anymore. Then after this recording, depending on where I am, I'll be starting from uh, probably 420. Damn. Well, at least can get one. have a weapon going in to the next floor. see another forging table I can uh oh, get some more defense
It's not agreeing with me for some reason. Well, it's almost uh, time for lunch. That's why the reason why my stomach's crawling. Be bowing out sooner than I think.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to bow out now. Went too bad. <laughs> well, that uh, it's pretty good lethal sight so far. Thank you for that. That's another thing checked off. Uh, keep in mind, you may also have, uh, uh, noticed that when I was putting them in, it was at a specific point. Like a specific... See? That means that it's outside of first second and so on but uh, until then I guess this will end the episode uh, next time on the Enchanted Cave 2 I'll be at floor 20 and maybe even a little stronger by then as well so until then this Subscribe if you want to check out other videos I've done in the past, or to stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Comment down below what you think of this game, or if you have another game you want me to check out on the channel, be sure to let me know down below. Until next time, stay 20% cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.